could stand here too. Well, dear friends, we gather here this day to share in the joining together of Rick Vidu and Maria Amparo. And so today, as we join you two as husband and wife, I ask you to remember that love is not a theme, but it's a commitment that you guys are laying your lives down in order that your home will be a place that is filled with love. Rick, do you take Maria to be your wife and will you give yourself to her as long as you both shall live? I do. And Maria, do you take Rick to be your husband and will you give yourself to him as long as you both shall live? I do. If I could have the children stand, please, I'd like to ask you a question. So children, these two have desired that they want to get married. But you know, when we were younger, we would ask our parents. But you guys, we're old enough now. We made some decisions in our life, but we still want to ask you, the children, because you guys are the most important to these two human beings. As their children, they wanted to make sure that you're good with their love for one another. So I ask you, are you willing to love them, cherish them, and today say that they can love one another from this day forward? In other words, I'm asking you, are you willing to become a family? If so, please say, yes, we will. Thank you very much. You can be seated. So I wanted to ask you guys the questions as their parents. Will you continue to love them, support them, encourage them, help them with the questions they might still have from this day forward? As their parents, are you willing to do that? If so, please say, yes, we will. Thank you very much. And I want to ask the two of you if you will continue to love on them, support them, encourage them from this day forward. If so, please say, yes, we will. Thank you very much. Mary Lou and Mary Clark, are you willing now and always to support and strengthen their marriage by upholding both of them, Rick and Maria, with your love and your concern? If so, please say, you know we will. You know we will. I thought so with a little sass, huh? Are you willing now and always to support and strengthen their marriage by encouraging, loving on, supporting, and questioning them from this day forward? If so, please say, yes, we will. You invited the right people. Do you, Rick, in the presence of God and these witnesses with all your heart and determination, promise to love and honor, respect and protect Maria, whose hands you hold now? I do. Do you promise to take care of her in sickness and in health, denying all others, keep yourself only to Maria as long as you both shall live? I do. Do you take Maria to be your lawfully wedded wife? I do. I, Rick, want you, Maria, to be my wife. I, Rick, want you, Maria, to be my wife. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or poor. For richer or poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To speak and to listen. To speak and to listen. And to speak a little more. And to speak a little more. To give and to receive. To give and to receive. To inspire and to respond to inspire and to respond to be your true friend and companion to be your true friend and your companion I promise to be faithful and true to you I promise to be faithful and true to you and I will honor that promise and I will honor that promise by joining and sharing with you by joining and sharing with you all that is to come all that is to come as long as I live as long as I live do Maria, in the presence of God and these witnesses with all your heart and determination, promise to love and honor, respect and protect Rick, whose hands you hold now? I do. Do you promise to take care of him in sickness and in health, denying all others? Keep yourself only to Rick as long as you both shall live? I do. Do you take Rick to be a lawfully wedded husband? I do. I, Maria, want you, Rick, to be my husband. I, Maria, want you, Rick, to be my husband. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or poor. For richer or poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To speak and to listen. To speak and to listen. To give and to receive. To give and to receive. To inspire and to respond. To inspire and to respond. To be your true friend and companion. To be your true friend and companion. 
I promise to be faithful and true to you. I promise to be faithful and true to you. And I will honor that promise. And I will honor that promise by joining and sharing with you. By joining and sharing with you all that is to come. All that is to come. As long as I live. As long as I shall live. You have now completed presenting your vows to one another. You've expressed it by the joining of your hands in love and affection. You have sealed your vows with a gift of a ring. By the authority invested in me as the minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ at Bishop Memorial Chapel, the Church of the Nazarene, the laws of God, and the state of Hawaii, I now pronounce Rick and Maria, you are husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. I have the privilege this evening to introduce for the very first time here, here in Hawaii, Mr. and Mrs. Rick and Maria Gudu. So when I uh, thought about what I was going to speak, right, what kind of speech I was going to make, I was outside yesterday and uh, I was looking at the sunset. And I looked at it and I was like, this is the like, this is life. When you look at the sunset, you compare it to life. That it's very beautiful, but it's very short. And the biggest thing about that sunset was uh, sharing it with someone that you love, right? Unfortunately, yesterday it was with JR, but whatever. <laughs> but it's that sunset that you're sitting there watching and going, man, this is like life. And life is beautiful, right? And sharing it with someone that you love and you cherish with and being there with. And for Maria and Rick being together, just realize that that sunset will set one day. And enjoy it with the one that you love. Be there for each other and always remember the reason why you guys got married. All right? Whenever there's a time that you guys think that there shouldn't be a reason, look at sunset and go, this is the reason why we're down there, because life is short, and we gotta live it together. So to my brother from another mother, Rick and Maria, please raise a toast. Congratulations, you two. John would be very happy being here and seeing you guys be married. Thank you, guys. I, Maria Luisa Amparo Chambers, a.k.a. Malou, emphasis on the Lou, the matron of honor, sister of the bride, Maria Amparo, a.k.a. Ott, I would like to make a toast. Hello, Ricky and Ott. I am so glad you guys finally tied the knot. We are all here to celebrate this happy day, and we know love is here to stay. Wedding memories with family and friends. We will definitely have a blast in the end. Kai and Teddy are their fur babies they left behind. That's okay, guys. I have pictures. They're not confined. Missing all who were not able to attend. But don't worry. We will all celebrate again and again and again. Thank you, Ricky, for making my sister happy. Just brace yourself, she can be a little bit snappy. <laughs> Devoted couples have closed loop communication and trust, and most of all, love is a must. We love you, Ricky, because Ott loves you too. Watch out, Gadoo family, we love you too. Please raise your glass. Congratulations, Mr. and Mrs. Gadoo. Now go to your room and do the do do. Let's get out of Thank you. Let's start a life somewhere else. Find a place where we can finally breathe. Hello. Just 
I am Maria's oldest son. It's a nice trip. <laughs> I've never been to a destination wedding. So, thank you guys all for coming out to celebrate them. Uh, but yeah, you know, thanks, Rick. I don't know what to say. This was not planned. Uh, yeah, thanks, Rick. You know, taking care of my mom, you know, the house and everything. Taking care of us. She got a lot of kids, so. But yeah, you know, have a good time tonight. Uh, congrats again. Good evening. My name is Ryan Miguel. I've known Rick for years. We met on the bottom of a brandy bottle or Jack Daniels. But I would just like to say it's nice to see that he's finally tied the knot, that he's found somebody to spend his life with. Because we're all meant to be with somebody. We're all meant to have love, share love. And we're all meant to grow and prosper with someone else. The people we see before our, our eyes will not be the same people we see in another year or five years or 10 years from now because they're supposed to prosper and grow together and that ev evolution and change will hopefully spread to all of us and be an example of what God created for us to see as an example of His love. So I would just like to say congratulations to the couple. And I would pray for blessings, for provisions, for faith and joy. And for the, them to be examples of the love that they share together, that they give to their granddaughter, hopefully grandson soon. I'm just saying. Or, I mean, you got how many kids you guys got? Somebody got to allow this family to grow? But I would just like to say congratulations to the happy couple. Thank you. pretty much everyone except for you. If I ever did anything right in my life, it was when I gave my heart to you. I love you, Maria. Only you can make my day with a hug or a smile or a funny text just because. Only you know exactly what to say or do when I need someone to say or do exactly the right thing. Only you provide the strength that makes me feel protected, the understanding that makes me feel known, and the tenderness that makes me feel loved. Only you forever and always for me. Till the sky falls down. Till the sky falls down.